sure your husband is presiding over the county council meeting? Of course I'm sure. He called just a little while ago and told me he'd be late. Don't I always make sure that he's gone before I ask you to come over? Where are we going to set this down? Oh, I don't know. Why don't we go over here and you can sit and tell Molly how much you missed her. <laughs> oh, come on, Molly. You're going to spill the booze now. Come oh, on. so we can make more. What is it, Marty? What is what? I don't know. Somehow you don't seem as interested as usual. Well, sure I am. Kidding. It's just, well, it's just I got a lot on my mind. Oh, the Harbor Point project. Well, for one of the things. Say, has, has Justin told you how much he's going to need? Oh, honey. Do we have to discuss money right now? Well, I was just wondering. Mm -hmm. Make my toesies tingle. Just your doses? Oh, maybe a few other things, too. <laughs> no, Marty, what you're asking Justin to do is very risky. I know. If it ever leaked out, he could go to jail. Well, it wouldn't exactly be a party for me, either. I know, but... No risk a part of it, Molly. I mean, after all, you can't have all of this by playing it safe. You know, I was figuring that twenty-five thousand ought to swing. Twenty-five thousand? Well, maybe thirty tops. You're talking crazy talk, Marty. Well, I wouldn't. Justin wouldn't do it for a penny less than fifty thousand cash. That seems pretty steep. Well, after all, it was you who had him pass that dumb density ordinance code in the first place, so no one else could build on Fiddler Key. Yeah, I know, but... All right, then. Don't get sore just because you got bit by your own greed. Oh, Molly, I'm not sore. How can I be sore? Feeling the way I do about you and, and spending these lovely afternoons with you. Why, hell, I... I almost feel that $50,000 is too reasonable. I thought Carrie looked a lot better tonight, didn't you? Did you? You're not just saying that. No, I really thought she did. Well, maybe you're right. God knows. I'm hoping so hard. I don't know what I know. And what I'm just imagining. Well, if you don't get a move on it, we're going to be late. Oh, we don't have a problem. We don't live on a time schedule down here, you know. There we are. You sure I'm not going to be intruding up there, Gus? Oh, come on. Lee and I have this deal where we play backgammon a couple times a week when he's feeling well. I told him you were going to be staying with me, and he said, bring you along. Besides, you and Barbara can keep company while we, while we play. Well, who's Barbara? It's his wife. Well, this sounds like it's going to be a real fun evening. You got anything better to do? I guess not. Let's go. Come in. It's open. Hello, Lee. Hello. Nice. Look, don't get up. Don't get up. How are you doing? Well, there seems to be some improvement. I certainly hope so. How are you feeling? That's a subject I try not to dwell on. You know that. You must be Sam Harrison, Lee Messenger. It's my pleasure, Mr. Messenger. I'm hoping I'm not intruding, but you know Gus, he insisted. Not at all. We're delighted to have you join us. And make that Lee, will you? We're very informal around here. All right. <laughs> you must have a way with dogs, Sam. Duffy acts like you're an old friend. He is. He saved Duffy's life this morning. At least he tried to. No kidding. Well, what happened? 
Let's don't go into that. All right, I won't. Barbara Messenger. Sam Harrison, it's real nice to meet you. Uh, Duffy, back in your box. Come on. Well, since you won't tell us what happened this morning, I suggest we all have a drink. Okay, what's your pleasure? We have scotch. Damn. I thought I'd turn that monster off for the evening. Well, I, I might as well see what they want. Huh? Take Sam with you. He might find it rather interesting. Yeah, I'll uh, hustle up the drinks. Thanks. Hey, come on, Sam. This is some setup you got here. Yeah, we really need it down here. It pays for itself at least once a week. Well, why would you... Lee Messenger? He wouldn't happen to be the same Lee Grant Dwight Messenger as an LDM International, would he? Mm. Didn't Gus tell you? Well, no, he didn't. But what would someone like him, I mean, like the two you'd be doing in a place like this? Well, that's a long story. Excuse me for just one minute. Please. Sure. You know, Lee, sometimes I think I train Sam too well. He's only been here one day, and already he's telling me what a lousy job they did putting this place up. As if an old pro like me doesn't know shoddy construction when he sees it. Is he good? Well, Sam's one of the best. He's got three to five years' commitments in backlogs already, because he works too hard. But then we all do. Or did. It yeah. was Zurich. They insisted on closing the deal tonight, so I closed it. At 65 million? No, 50. You were getting too anxious. They sensed it. Good girl. You see, you're not the only one with a talented protege. Uh, Gus has been telling me that you think this building might fall down on us. It might, Lee. Oh, come on, Sam. It can't be that bad. It could be. You can't be serious. But I am. Look, Lee, Gus is a damn good engineer. And he's probably forgotten more about certain things in some areas than I'll ever know. But I've specialized since I worked for him. Specialized? How? In hydrology. That's water, wave action, tidal surges. See, I get paid to build things that water can't knock down. Are you saying that Silver Sands is not safe? Not during a hurricane, it wouldn't be. If a hurricane knocks this place over, it'd have to be the great granddaddy of them all. Yeah, well, not necessarily, Gus. Well, how big a hurricane would it take? Well, I can't tell you that. At least without doing a geological analysis of the ground it sits on. And knowing the contour of the bottom out there in the Gulf could present a real problem. Well, a hurricane, I suppose, is as acceptable a way to go as any other. Are you serious? That doesn't bother you? Not really, Sam. Death is a tedious race anyway. I mean, no one ever beats the odds. At least with Gus here, I have a chance to win at something. <laughs> you mean I'm going to have to beat your tail at backgammon just to prove my superior intelligence? That, that'll be the day. Darling. Why don't you and Sam go out on the balcony and keep each other company until this slaughter is over? Oh, Lee, must you play tonight? I mean, after all, we do have a guest. No, Sam's not a guest. He's a friend of mine. Besides, you don't want to see a grown billionaire cry, do you? Ha, <laughs> ha! <laughs> I think they're trying to get rid of us. Yes, yes, it, uh, it looks that way. I can take a hint. After you, Barbara. Okay, roll a die. It sure is nice out here. Yes, yes, it is. It's, uh, it's very peaceful. Is that why Lee picked this place? Lee didn't pick this place. We both did. And, uh, for a lot of reasons. Yeah. I wasn't prying. I was just curious. Just wouldn't expect to find a man like Lee Messenger hold up in a place like this. Or find him married to a woman 30 years younger than he is. Hey, come on. I mean, I'm just a sweet guy passing through town. Would you put down your guns, huh? I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I, I'm, I'm just a little touchy. I... Look, w why don't we change the subject, huh? All right. Um, what does a hotshot hydrologist like you do for laughs? Water ski a little bit. You don't. <laughs> I'll try. And the danger he suggests could have some truth in it. Well, I'm not convinced that Sam's right. But he's no alarmist. If he says the evidence exists, it exists, but then he hasn't had a chance to evaluate the problem. What would you do if the building were unsafe? I don't know. 
hope as they do in earthquake country that the big one never hits. I know this sounds crazy coming from me, but Sam's right about one thing. I'm emotionally committed. <laughs> well, the funny thing is, I thought they were expecting me. So when this guide in the Land Rover comes and picks me up, I don't think that there's anything wrong. <laughs> Not until we get back to the village. Then all the natives are yelling and saying how brave I am for going after this man here. <laughs> well, that's when I realized that they thought I was this government hunter. <laughs> Oh, what did you do then? You mean besides run? Yeah. <laughs> Your turn, Lee. Uh, oh, sorry. wondering if you could do me a favor. Well, I'll try. It's Julian. He's hurt himself, and he won't let me call a doctor. I was wondering if, um, maybe you can come over and take a look at him. Well, sure, why not? I'll be right there. Thanks. What the hell are you doing here? Julian, I asked Roberta to come to see if she can help you. I don't need any help from anyone. Oh, stop being so damn macho. What happened? He, uh, fell from a stepladder onto his stomach. Mm-hmm. Well, you really should have yourself x-rayed, Julian. Why, nothing's busted. How do you know? Let me take a look and see if I can find anything obvious. said that. Why not? You have the right, considering... Uh, look, Lori, I guess I owe you some kind of an apology. After all, Julian is your husband, no, and no, I... No, it's, it's all right. Look, I don't blame you. <laughs> You're not the first. Not by a long shot. It's just that, um, I still love Julian. But he doesn't fool me. My husband is really a first-class louse. And don't I know it. Hey, kid, hey, cut it out. <laughs> it's not worth it. No man is. I just, I feel so used. Ain't that the truth? Look, I tell you what. Why don't you come up to my place where I have a couple of belts, huh? Huh? It'll ease the pain. What about Julian? What about him? You're right. Dale wouldn't let's go. <laughs> Think of Lee. I thought he was a good guy. Yeah. A guy with his wealth, he seemed like a real regular upfront man. Yeah. What about Barbara? Uh, she seemed very special. What? Well, I was just thinking. That woman's deep. She's complicated. What way? Well, a lot of ways. She's very defensive for one thing, and very guarded about what she says for another. Well, she seemed friendly enough to you. Well, she's friendly to me. But I felt like she was holding back. She had a lot of emotions that she was afraid to show. But at the same time... What? 
Well, at the same time, I felt like she really wanted to be herself. And I mean, she really wanted to be herself and open up to me. Kind of crazy, huh? Well, she's very devoted to Lee. Well, Lee's a very lucky man. Be lucky dying, man. Now, what's that supposed to mean? It's confidential, but Lee's got maybe six months left. That's why they're living here. Why didn't you tell me that before? Because it's their business. Well, then why'd you tell me now? You mean to tell me that you thought I was going to make a play for Barbara? What you saying? Hey, Gus, listen, you and I have always leveled with one another. I'm going to cut it right to the meat. I've never gone after another man's wife, and it's unlikely I ever will, all right? That's good enough for me. To the windmills. And to the spindly-legged guys that keep trying to knock them down. more than usual. Enjoy the evening? Not especially. Hmm. I'd have thought you'd find Sam Harrison interesting. Oh, I find what he does rather fascinating. I'm not at all sure what he is. Quite an observation. I wonder if he's right about this building going if there were a hurricane. Well, he says he can't tell for sure unless he does some more research. He's going to be here for two weeks. I wonder if he'd be interested enough to do a study for us. Well, Lee, if it worries you so much, why don't we just simply move? And if a hurricane did hit and flatten this building, how could we live with that in our consciences? Don't you think we owe the other owners a warning, at least? I guess. But you're up to something, Lee. You never cared all that much about the other owners before. How come this sudden turnaround now? No special reason, really. Just suddenly turned noble, at it? I'll accept that. Well, I won't. Not when you're so obvious. If you're referring to yourself, is it so wrong to want to protect someone you love? Mm. Protect is one thing. Playing Cupid is quite another. And there is nothing Sam Harrison has that I want or need. I don't know what you're talking about. Oh, yes, you do. Damn it all, Lee. Only yesterday you told me you don't believe in playing God with other people's lives. Now, doesn't that include me? Oh, I've made my choice. I couldn't be happier with it. Or with you. Nor I with you, darling. Ah, I'm getting tired. If you don't mind, I think I'll go to bed. <laughs> at night and get hooked in the butts by one of those nasties, you will wish you would have never even heard of fishing. That's butt, my love. Butt, not butts. Picky. You're always so picky. Anyway, how you can fuss with those fiddly little things at a time like this? <coughs> what exactly do you mean at a time like this? Do not give me that Henry Church bridge. Ma guarda che ti conosco bene. After 30 years of government hanky-panky, who around here would know better what to do? Do? Do about what? But do not give me about what. You know what I mean. This fooling around with the assessment business. I do not like it, and what's more, I do not intend that we will put up with it. Well, why don't we just move out? I'm ready to leave oh. any time. That's not true, and you know it. You are just trying to avoid doing anything about it. Well, why don't you let me avoid it in peace, my love? Impassion, my never caro involvement keeps you alive. It's invigorating. When I was working for the agency, you said it might get me killed. Ah, ma non è la stessa cosa, those hat and dagger boys. Cloak, cloak and... and anyway, it wouldn't be at all like overthrowing the government. For you, it would be like nothing to really fix them good. Fix who? Good. You are interested. Who is what you will find out. And if I knew who, I would do it myself, no? Oh, mm. and the church. Good morning. Good morning. How's the water? It's terrific. 
Hey, listen, about last night. Hey, what about last night? Well, I, I hope I didn't make you feel uncomfortable. I'm, I'm just not very good at... <laughs> What's so funny? I was just about to make the same apology to you. <laughs> Lee thought over what you talked about last night. You know, about the hurricane danger. He thinks it might be worth looking into. He does? Hmm. That's funny. He didn't seem very interested. Well, sometimes it's difficult to tell what interests Lee. Or even what he's thinking about. Anyway, he wondered if you'd be interested in making a real study. For a fee, of course. Yeah, I'd be very interested. Whose idea was this, yours or Lee's? Oh, this was all Lee's idea. To tell the truth, I don't see much point in it. It's sort of like rattling gravestones. Yeah, I see what you mean. Well, you can name your own fee. Shall I tell Lee that you'll accept this? I didn't say I'd do it. <laughs> no, you didn't. Well, let's put it this way, Barbara. I'll only do the study if you agree. Oh, that's ridiculous. What possible reason could you have for needing my approval? I was just say I hate split decisions. If you're interested, meet me down here in an hour, and I'll take you and show you some of the things I was talking about. <laughs> All right, you've got a deal. She's fine. Oh, are you going to bring her home soon, no, maybe? not yet for a while. Oh, but I'm... she is improving. Yeah. Oh, she... that's good news. Oh, Gus, I really hate to bother you, but I really got to talk to you. About what? Well, you know me, Gus. I'm not a complainer. But we've got to do something about those damn washing machines. What about them? It's the noise, Gus. The noise. They're like 747s taking off. And on top of that, the people are using those machines all hours of the night, completely ignoring the 10 o'clock curfew. And we live right next door to the damn laundry Look, look Holly, I, I hear what you're saying, Holly. And I'll look into it and see what I can do about it, all right? You will? That's sure. great. Be happy. You know, I told Max, <laughs> if there's one guy we can depend upon to get anything done around here, it's Gus. Well, see you later. And give Carolyn my best. Same to Mac. All right, this is the kind of thing I was talking to you about. It's a perfect example of sloppy concrete work and poor planning. How do you mean? Well, see this joint here? See how the concrete's cracking? Well, the joint was carelessly prepared and badly located. Come on over here. Watch your step. Now, you get enough cracks like this, it's going to impair the strength of the entire structure. Watch your step. Come on over here. So who's the broad? Mrs. Messenger. My husband's much older now. Hardly ever leaves the apartment. I think he's sick. OK. I'll handle it from here. Well, I don't want to be a nuisance, but... Well, it's all right. Go right ahead. Well, it's those naughty birds again. Naughty birds? Yes. You see, it's that time of year, and they're all nesting in the garage over my car. I know the little darlings have to go to the bathroom somewhere, but on my car... Well, I see what you're saying. I'll look into it, Mrs. Conlon. I'll oh, see what I can thank do. thank you, Mr. Garver. Oh, excuse me, Mrs. Conlon. I'll let it get dried off. <laughs> Hi there. Well, hello, Miss Bird. Well, what are you doing here? Well, I'm hoping to liven up my tan a bit. Well, I mean here in the condominium. I moved in. Temporarily, of course, till they sell the unit. It wouldn't be a little reconnaissance mission for friendly Mr. Liss, would it? No, it's nothing of the sort, Mr. Barber. Free use of a vacant apartment is one of my fringe benefits. Oh, is that right? Yes. And besides, why would Marty want to spy on you? If that's what you're inferring. After all, he has no legal connection with the building any longer. Well, no connection that we know of, that is. No connection, period. That's a recorded fact. You know, I think that you've misjudged Marty. And me. 
Whether you believe it or not, we're really nothing more than concerned people. Have a nice day. Miss Byrne. Look, maybe I kind of overreacted. Friends? Only if you call me Drew. Well, that's easy. Drew it is. Okay, Gus. We're friends. Conversation is over. Excuse me. Young man, are you a thief? Huh? I mean, are you trying to rip off the coin box or something? No, ma'am. I'm from the phone company. I'm trying to fix the phone. What's wrong with it? It doesn't work. Oh. Well, I guess you'd better fix it then. <laughs> Why don't you come over and, and join me for a drink? So I said, would you give me... I mean, I was in... Uh, oh, Glory, honey, I've got to run. Got to be back at the hospital in 30 minutes. Hi, Roberta. Hello, Julian. How are you feeling? Not so hot. No? Well, you'll probably be sore for a couple of days. Try and stay active, though. Be ten times worse if you let the muscles stiffen. Bye, Lord. Bye, Bobby. Bobby? Yes. She prefers it to Roberta. But then again, I'm not telling you anything new now, am I? Don't be so damn smart, Laurie. What was she doing here anyway? She was talking to me. I like her. Yeah? Well, maybe I'm not so sure I like her hanging around. I could understand why it might bother you, sweetheart. But quite frankly, I don't give a damn whether you like it or not. How come you accepted Lee's offer? I mean, I thought you were gonna knock off work for the next couple of weeks. Yeah, I was. My first reaction was to tell Barbara no. Then I started thinking about all those people that were living here and how uninformed they were and what kind of dangerous construction were guys like this list are getting away with. It just got to me. You know what I mean? Yeah, I hear what you're saying. Meaning what? Look, maybe I'm on kind of tricky ground, but I thought you might be using it just to hang in there with Barbara. I thought we talked about this once before. I told you I don't fool around with other guys' wives. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, pal. Just forget I said that, huh? Yeah. On one condition, that you let me do the cooking from here on out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's right, Mr. Liss. I check them out like you said. You sure is snooping around here looking for something. That's okay, Vic. You go on back to Miami. I'll handle it from here. No, he's probably some local inspector. No problem. Right. Bye. What was that all about? I'm not sure. But I don't like it. Problems? Problems? That's my middle name. Without it, I'd be bored to death. But it's no worry of yours. Worry? I don't worry. I just wonder a lot. Like, I wonder if planting Drew at Silver Sands was such a hot idea. Why not? She can take care of herself. Yeah, but... Yeah, but nothing. Hell, in a week's time, she's gonna have that Gus Gava running her for vice president of the Homeowners Association. Vice! <laughs> you get that? <laughs> yeah. I sure put her on. 
the Honorable Mrs. Denever. Hello, Molly, honey. I'm fine. Well, sure. No, the sooner the better. All right. Bye, darling. Yeah, she wants me to rush right over with the money. Hmm. Sounds like Justin got the permits. Well, I sure ain't gonna pay her for anything else she's offering. Well, I'm ready to move whenever you say. Now, you sit tight till you hear from me. Man, the things I do for progress. <laughs> I missed you, baby. Oh, I missed you, too. <laughs> Did you bring the money? Saying exactly ballast. Ooh, give it to me. <laughs> Justin says everything's go. But be sure and start clearing tomorrow. Since it's Saturday, you can get the whole job done and nobody can do anything about it. Hey, terrific. <laughs> Let me call Drew and Cole. Can it wait? For what? Oh, I hey, relax, honey. I'm only kidding. Only kidding. Mm. Just take a second. You'd be angry, too, if I kept refusing to do the things you like. But you do. What? It's true. I've asked you hundreds of times to come look at the plants and the wildlife. The plants and the wildlife? Oh, ooh. Do you think I can stand the excitement? Ooh. You don't have to be mean, Jack. Oh. Jack's being mean. Oh. Goodness gracious. Oh, the plants and the wildlife. What do you think I am, a closet naturalist? What's the use? You marry a child, you get a child's mentality. suddenly my fault. Do not pretend with me that you do not know. We are not sure that Marty Liss is behind all this. We do not know for sure. Do you care to place a tiny little bet with you me? You know that I don't bet on anything but myself. What? Oh, my God. Thelma. What about them? The jungle. It was her whole life. Do you have any idea what this could do to her? What's going on? Have you seen it? Seen what? The jungle. They're tearing it out. 
Who's tearing it out? Why? Marty Less. It seems they pulled a sneak play on us. They're gonna build another condo right in our own backyard. The point is, what are we gonna do about it? Well, I don't know. What can we do about it? I don't know. Gary, do you have anything new on that low pressure area off Cape Verde? Yep. She's been building up very nicely. And it's just starting to move northwest. Looks like a real good one building. This is about time we give her a name, huh? Check the whole thing out, and it's all true. Liz has all the permits he needs. So in six months, we'll be living with a carbon copy of this building right over there. But we were all told when we bought that nobody would ever be able to build another condo on this key. Then I imagine he spent a few dollars in the right places to change all that. Without a doubt. Well, well, maybe it's time for us to move on. Just when things are getting interesting, I wouldn't dream of it. Besides, if Sam proves his theory, I imagine we'll put quite a crimp in Liz's plan. I wouldn't want to miss that. How long will it take you? Not more than a couple days. Once I do a survey of the Gulf out there, get some geological data on Fiddler Key itself, some stats on probable hurricane tracks, which completed in no time at all. Would our computer be of any help to speed things up? I don't know, Barb. I don't know what it's hooked into. Why don't you two go and ask it? Right now. Why not? <laughs> Why not, indeed? Come on, Sam. They should work well together, don't you think? Please. <laughs> don't tell me you're worried about my honor, Gus. I was thinking you might be making some problems for them, problems they might not be able to handle. She wasn't meant to be alone. Somebody's got to come after me. Sam would do very nicely, don't you think? I think you ought to let Barbara work it out for herself when and if she needs to. I don't agree. Her future's too important to me. I wouldn't want to go leaving it that wide open. Neat, orderly mind of yours. Look, if you really want to nail things down, why don't you leave them to each other in your will? <laughs> Sorry, Mrs. Conlaw. Oh, that's all right. My fault anyway. <laughs> oh, Mr. Garver. Yeah, I, I can't talk right now, Mrs. I Conlaw. know you're going to the hospital. That's what I wanted to say. Give my best to Mrs. Garver and tell her that we all miss her. I will. Thank you, Mrs. Conlaw. supposed to be at the hospital in 10 minutes. Well, I'm going to Athens if it'll help. Oh, no, that's okay. I can fix it. No, come on. The hospital's on the way. You sure it's okay? Absolutely. No problem. All right. No, Sonny, it's like I keep telling you. I don't want to move down to Miami and move in with you. I, I like being on my own. Just a second, operator. It's like I said, I'd like being on my own. 
and all the people down here are so nice and friendly. Why, just today, I was watering the plants in the lobby, and that nice Mr. Garver came along, and we had quite a little chat. Oh, he's a lovely man. He's so nice. Wouldn't mind at all. Come on. in the cafeteria, but I only have an hour. Oh, that's okay. I'm just glad you called. So am I. <laughs> and so the latest on Hurricane Ella is that her track has taken her past the island of Martinique, where her winds exceeding 120 miles per hour have caused extensive damage to the eastern end of that island. In Washington today, Operation... Treating you okay? You let me know if they don't. Huh? I'll take care of it. What was I gonna tell you? Oh yeah, you should see your plants. I'm taking care of them, I'm watering them. They could probably use a woman's touch, but they seem to be doing real fine. ever happened before, Carrie?
like to know why my wife is being neglected. Mr. Garver, this hospital does not neglect its patients. It's not so. Well, let me clue you into something, doctor. I was worried about my wife, and I wanted to check a few things out with a duty nurse, but I couldn't. What do you mean you couldn't? She wasn't there. The nurse was not at her desk in ICU where there's supposed to be someone on duty at all times. But that's impossible. That's exactly what I thought. But she wasn't there, and I had to wait for her for five minutes. Now, that's five minutes in which my wife or anyone else in ICU could have died. I'll certainly investigate that. Well, you certainly should, Doctor. After all, it is your responsibility. Don't you think I know that? But I'm one man here. I can't do everything. Well, I'm not suggesting that you can, or that you should. You may think it's easy to run a hospital. It isn't. I'm a doctor, not a damned administrator. On top of that, I'm over budget, under, understaffed. I don't have the money to pay for the proper personnel. I... Enough said, doctor. I understand. I've been in almost the same position myself. Look, why don't you let me help you out? I've run some big jobs on small money. I went over budget and had to keep things moving. Sometimes the answers are simple, but it takes an outsider to see them. Well, you may be right, be my money. If that's what's worrying you, I'd just look over your operation and maybe make a few recommendations that might make things a little easier for you. Well, let me uh, think Good. about it. It's a deal, then. Good. Thank you, Doctor. What you did in there was pretty terrific. Oh, uh, guy needs help, that's all. God knows we've got time to spare. Time for a bite? Well, I don't know. I was kind of... Well, you've got to have dinner, don't you? I do. Is it so bad for two people to have dinner together? Of course not. Come on. Just about one bridge too many. Maybe it was time to hang it up. Not just for Carrie, for me. But you hate it, don't you? Being retired. I didn't say that. No, not in words you didn't. But look at you. You're president of the homeowners association, fighting with Marty. Now you can't wait to take over that poor doctor's hospital and run it for him. No, I was just trying to help out, that's all. Sure you work us. Come on, don't kid yourself. I saw that gleam in your eye back there. <laughs> and in Marty's office. Look, you're a vital, attractive man. And it's obvious at the moment that you're bored out of your mind. Not at the moment. I'm not. Well, thank you, kind sir. That's very flattering. You're a very stimulating woman, too. As stimulating as a new bridge or a dam? If I were younger, not much younger. Mike. You're young enough, Gus. Age is all in your mind anyway. If I didn't know better, I'd think you were trying to tell me something. I am. Heavy. You had to see me right away. I just talked to Drew. You know, she's been seeing a lot of Gus Garver. So? I thought that was a game plan. I'm not worried about Gus. It's that buddy of his, Sam Harrison. Now, according to Drew, Gus claims that he's one of those engineering geniuses. So he's a genius. What's the problem? Well, you just put that together with what Julian told Vic, and Vic has seen for himself, and we could find ourselves in one hell of a mess. I don't like the way I think your mind's going. You just think about it. What would happen to both of us if the boys from Miami found out how we shortchanged them on the Silver Sands construction costs? Hmm. They could be very unhappy, I guess, huh? That's just putting it mildly. Now, Harrison could blow the whistle on us just like that. So? So we're gonna blow the whistle on him first. Now, you see where the water changes color out there? Yes. Well, depending on the contour of the bottom, the pileup can result in a very large wave surge. How large? Well, 10 to 30 feet. Depends on the force of the wind and how sharp the bottom curves up. That's a lot of water. And that's a lot of force. And that force will bash itself against this building. Now, given a big enough surge, it'll take out any structure. Well, then no building's really safe. Well, theoretically, no. But there are realistic limitations to how big a surge can get. The problem here is that well, to figure out how big a surge it'd take to knock this building out. I'm impressed. 
I am really impressed. And, uh, I hate to admit it, but, uh, I'm a little bit scared. Well, you got good reason to be. You study wave action long enough, you find out that water's one of nature's most destructive weapons. Now, come the day that a good hurricane comes in this direction. Well, when it's over, I doubt there'll be anything left of this place. I'm convinced. Well, now, don't give in so easy. I just started. Another factor is soil composition. What's the latest on Ella? She's really starting to hustle. What's her position? 12 degrees, 30 minutes north, 43 degrees west. Winds are 100 knots. Looks like we might have another David on our hands, huh? Yeah. God help us if she decides to come ashore. Contour survey should just about wrap it up. Any conclusions? Well, I'm gonna have to do some figuring first, but one thing's obvious, what we know of the composition of the key. Our man Liz had to pay off someone but good. Why pay off? Well, no engineer in his right mind would ever issue a permit to build a structure on this site. Well, then we've got Liz. Oh. oh, Sam, that's great. You think we can prove it? Well, we're gonna try. And then what happens afterwards? Well, I mean, I'm an engineer. I'm not an attorney. That's something that Lee and Gus and association owners will have to deal with. While you go off on another project. Oh, Barbara, now don't make it sound like I'm walking out on everybody. I've done my job. There's no reason for me to hang around here. There is there. Oh, it's important to me. I want you to understand. Well, what's there to understand? Oh, let's not play that kind of game with each other. Well, I'm sorry. Go ahead and tell me what you were going to tell me. I was married before. Before I, I ever met Lee. My, uh, my husband and my little girl well, there, there was a fire, and they were both, uh... You see, I, I was out shopping. And, and when I got home, they were... But I, I just... Uh, I, ju I just quit living, I guess. I, I sort of shriveled up inside. Then, uh, after a while, I got a job. Working for Lee. He found out about, uh, about what happened. And he married you? Oh, no, no, it wasn't like that at all. He brought me back to life. 
He loaded me up with more and more work. He made me, he made me play way above my head so that I didn't have time to feel sorry for myself. Do you understand what I'm saying? He, he saved my life. So you feel you owe him? Oh, no, no. No, it's not like that at all. I love him. I love that wonderful old man. And now, I... Now I think maybe we should get back to work. Why don't you read me those figures one more time? Yeah. Which of you two he was after, but I'm sure the police could persuade him. Well, are you all right? Oh, I'm fine. A little rusty at this. But he isn't much of a pro, as pros go. Well, I think I know who he was after and why. Good. Tell me about it later. I think you two ought to get inside. He might have a friend out here. What are you going to do about him? Him? Oh, I think I'll turn him over to Brooks Ames. Good old Ames. This will positively make his week. <laughs> well, come on, let's go. Oh, there is one other thing, Doc. I looked over those bids for interior painting that you mentioned, and they all seemed awfully high to me. Oh, what isn't these days? Yeah, the old inflation. There are ways around it. I checked out the Palm County Retirement Home. They've got some retired painters there who could use some activity. We could hire them, let our maintenance men do the ladder work, and let them paint the low places. That would give them something useful to do and save us maybe a couple hundred bucks. Good idea, guys. Anything else? No, I think that's about it now, Arthur. If you need me, I'll be with Carrie. By the way, guys. Dr. Marcus, admissions desk. Thanks. Dr. Marcus, admissions desk. Sam says he can't have his best girl looking drab when he sees her. He wants you to be sure to be wearing this tomorrow for his visit. How you like it? I'll leave it right here for you. I'll tell the nurse on my way out that you'll be one to wear. You gotta go now, Miles. I'll see you tomorrow. Don't you be getting up after I'm gone and chasing those handsome doctors. Hands on the National Hurricane Center reports that Ella...